Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can deal uh, with uh, multiple trackers on your website when it comes to um, the exemption of, uh, of consent. So this uh, video is not going to show you the full use case, but it's just more like a proof of concept. So in order to be able to uh, probably do exactly what you want, you will have to uh, watch uh, the great conference made by Thomas Pearson from Digitalist explaining how you can deal with, let's say, the the cookie part uh, dealing with the consent measure. I'm not going to talk about this part. I'm going to talk about, um, let's say, um, a complementary approach uh, to, to this. You, you will need the knowledge of, of this conference anyway in order to end up your project. Uh, then you will need a bit of context. Uh, so, for example, if you take the case of the French market, in France we have a privacy commissioner named CNIL who has some uh, booklet uh, guide uh, written by uh, the analytics uh, vendor or uh, software development platform, which are explaining in some uh, cases, in some specific situation, how you can set the software, the analytics software, in order to be exempted from cons consent. So uh, what it means in this scenario when a solution is exempt of consent means that uh, you may have a double tracker system on your website. So one uh, tracker, which is here to collect the data uh, in all cases, so no personal um, identifier information, and of course the possibility to opt out at, at any time, but you will have, let's say, this tracker which is running on all the website for non-PII information. And then you need as well to be able uh, to set another tracker which will be here in order to collect uh, PII. The reason why you want to deal with two um, websites within Matomo is that if you follow carefully this given guide, what's going to happen is that you need to set one of your Matomo with different settings which cannot be applied to the other one. So, uh, so to say, uh, what you need to have is that you need to have one Matomo on which the visit log report is disabled and the real-time report is disabled as well. So typically, this is something that you can only set at the website level. And then uh, dealing with uh, the other one on which you can, let's say, collect everything as far as the user gave this consent, then it means that you need uh, another website tag. So uh, I succeed in finding how you can deal with this, like having multiple trackers within Matmo. By having a look at this given ticket uh, on which uh, Thomas Ter answered, and what Thomas Ter said is that hey, but um, instead of thinking about the Matomo variable configuration in order to send to different site ID, if you duplicate your tags and send it within different Matomo configuration, then it will do the trick. And this is exactly what we need here to understand is that you have one container which is deployed on the website. So in my case, I've just one single container, but within this single container, what I'm going to have, and I'm going to have two tags, okay? Of course, I can have multiple tags, but in my case, I'm having this page view tag, which is just sending data to website number 11 in my case, and then the other tags, which are in fact here in order to uh, collect personal, uh, I mean, PII information. And th this is this is how it works. It's It's pretty, uh, simple to apply, as you can see here, you have my Matmo configuration sending to website number 11. And on the other side, I have uh, the other tracker, which is sending to website ID number uh, number 12 in my case. So all you need to do is that uh, you need to apply, in fact, this method, which is about duplicating the tags, sending them to different ID site. And in addition to that, so this is what I'm not explaining in this video, well, you need to apply all the cookie system uh, that you will use in order to fire specifically uh, just the tag for the PII. So just to give you a, a given use case over here. So this is my mayor page. On my mayor page, I have uh, here, for example, a PII. So the PII should not be collected by website ID number 11. So here the page is loaded. User has not yet given any consent. So as a result, there's only one tag which is fired, not the one dealing with the PII. And as you can see, uh, it's just uh, sending, in fact, the data to my uh, Matomo configuration, which is the website number 
number 11. Then if I click over here, so here normally if I click here, it will send to uh, website number 12, but not send it to website number 11 because it contains a personal data. And as you can see over here, it's triggering the click PII and not uh, triggering the other one. So as a result, I'm getting exactly what I want. So the data is sent to the to met to most over here. Unfortunately, I cannot really see it in, uh, on this one because on this one, the visit log is disabled. So if I look at uh, the other one, which is uh, in my case, that's the train, uh, train, PII, train PII. On this one, I can see, in fact, uh, just the information that I want, which in my case, just the event, not the page. And that's how we're gonna uh, make it, is like having two variables duplicating the tags and sending in fact the tag um, within each different website ID and then you can uh, on top of it add uh, the cookie system. Hope you enjoyed this video and it will uh, help you finish your project. Thanks for watching.